Welcome to our Sound for Video session. Today's the 28th of April, 2018, and we're going to take a look at the remix feature on the Sound Devices Mix Pre 3, 6, and 10T. In this case, we have the 10T, of course, and here's the idea, first of all, for remixing. What does that mean? If you are in advanced mode and you're recording isolated channels, so each microphone, you're recording a track for that microphone, plus you're recording a stereo mix of all the microphones, what you can do with Remix is actually re-record the stereo track. So you won't change any of the isolated channels and the recording you got with those. And of course, you still have to get your gain set correctly on all of those channels when you do the original recording. You can't fix that after the fact. But what you can do is you can modify the faders and the pan controls for each of the channels to re-record essentially the stereo mix. So let me show you what I mean. So first of all, let me do this. Let me play back our existing mix. Okay, this is channel number one here. And um, what we're going to do here is demonstrate, first of all, a bad mix. <laughs> so we can demonstrate the remix feature. So what this relies on is you have to get your gain staging correct for each microphone input. So that doesn't change. What changes is though, if you change, if you set the fader to a level that isn't working for the overall mix, you can go back and fix that. That's what you can do. So this is channel one. This one should be um, in the mix. We should have this one set much lower than it should be. Actually, it, it is set much lower than it really should be. So what you're probably hearing now is a lot of room because the other two mics are picking up what I'm saying here. And the primary mic that I'm on channel one is not picking up that much. Okay, now here's number channel number two. And in this case, we should be gain staged and faded about right and with peaks somewhere in the minus 20 to, or minus 18 to minus 12 range. And um, that's what we should have here. So this should be sounding pretty good. Okay, next up we have uh, channel number three. Channel number three on the fader is running pretty hot. So this is probably gonna come across as a lot louder in the mix than the other two. Now again, all of these microphones are correctly gain staged. That is to say they're staged, their gain is set so that they're not clipping and that they're coming in at a reasonable level. Again, peaking somewhere around minus 20 to minus 12. Um, but the fader is off here and this fader, for example, is set to I think plus 12 or tw plus 15, something like that. So this is sending a lot of this signal to the mix and this one's gonna sound a lot louder than the other two actually. <laughs> We'll stop it here. Okay, so you can see we have some problems. Mic number one was uh, too soft in the stereo mix. What we were listening to is a stereo mix. And then mic two, channel two was pretty good. And then channel three was a little too hot. So how do you fix that? Well, normally you'd have to get back into post and to work on it there by taking the isolated channel recordings, channels one through three, mics one through three. Uh, breaking apart that polyphonic wave file, so you had a separate channel for each of those, and then in post do the mixing. Well, you can actually do that now on your recorder, especially if you have to have a pretty quick turnaround. So that is to say, you need to get this video edited pretty quickly. <laughs> um, let me show you how you do that. So first of all, you need the version 2.10 firmware or higher for the Mix Pre 10T, Mix Pre 3, or Mix Pre 6. So first of all, you have to turn the remix feature on. You do that by coming into the menu here, go to the record menu, just right there. And then on the second page of the record menu, there is a remix option. You turn that on. Now, all that setting does is it allows you when you're playing back a recording that has isolated channels plus a stereo mix, it allows you to change the faders or the pan settings for each channel to create a new stereo mix. Now, it's not actually saving that mix at this point, but that's how you first get things set up. So. The next thing you want to do is you probably want to listen through it once before you do your remix, um, just so you can kind of get a sense for where you're going to have to make the adjustments. And then what you can do is record that new mix. And the way you do that is, first of all, you select this up here. You choose the file you want to remix. In our case, it's called Remix002. We press the headphone encoder button here. And then we get a couple of options here in the menu. We want to re-record LR. So we're going to go ahead and get going on that. Okay, this is channel number one here. And um, what we're going to do here is demonstrate, first of all, a bad mix. <laughs> you 
so we can demonstrate the remix feature. So what this relies on is you have to get your gain staging correct for each microphone input. So that doesn't change. What changes is though, if you change, if you set the fader to a level that isn't working for the overall mix, you can go back and fix that. That's what you can do. So this is channel one. This one should be um, in the mix. We should have this one set much lower than it should be. Actually, it, it is set much lower than it really should be. So what you're probably hearing now is a lot of room because the other two mics are picking up what I'm saying here. And the primary mic that I'm on channel one is not picking up that much. Okay, now here's number channel number two. And in this case, we should be gain staged and faded about right with peaks somewhere in the minus 20 to, or minus 18 to minus 12 range. And um, that's what we should have here. So this should be sounding pretty good. Okay, next up we have uh, channel number three. Channel number three on the fader is running pretty hot. So this is probably gonna come across as a lot louder in the mix than the other two. Now again, all of these microphones are correctly gain staged. That is to say they're staged, their gain is set so that they're not clipping and that they're coming in at a reasonable level. Again, peaking somewhere around minus 20 to minus 12. Um, but the fader is off here. And this fader, for example, is set to, I think plus 12 or tw plus 15, something like that. So this is sending a lot of this signal to the mix. And this one's gonna sound a lot louder than the other two actually. <laughs> Okay, so there was a, re a run through. We had the remix set on and we also did a re-recording. So we've created a new actual stereo mix and you can see the name here is R Remix 002A in this case. So the, the appended or the prefixed R underscore means it's a remix of that. So now I can bring that into my computer and get working on the edit with a pretty good stereo mix going in. So that's how the remix and re-recording features work in the new firmware version 2.10 on the Mix Pre 3, 6, and 10T. Now again, just to underscore, the reason you might want to do this is if you flubbed up the mix <laughs> while you were doing the recording. You can see also I did something interesting here. When person on channel 3 was talking, I essentially faded these all the way back. That's going to create a cleaner mix in the end because now we're essentially turning off these microphones when no one's talking into them and they're not contributing any of the air or the room tone um, when no one's speaking into them. So that's kind of the main idea there. Um, again, hope that was helpful for you. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave those down below. We'll talk to you again next week. Mm -hmm.